What's up guys, now today I thought I'm gonna make some gingerbread. Merry Christmas! With Marcus. So today we're gonna make some gingerbread men. Right, so what we're doing is we're following a recipe from a, another YouTube channel called Sorted Food. Now we've been over with them, making food with them, and if you wanna check out what they do over there, links are down below, and you can check those out after this video. We've gone out and bought all the ingredients, haven't we? Mm-hmm, as you can see down there. So as usual guys, remember, if you wanna follow along and make it as a video response, then we're more than happy to watch those, and we'll leave some comments and give you guys some support, and I'm pretty sure that you're gonna do better than us. Yeah. So, preheat your oven to 170 degrees, which oh. we've already done, we're yep. on that. Melt the butter, sugar, and syrup in a pan until smooth and the sugar is dissolved. 150 grams of butter. Unsalted butter. So Unsal this is unsalted. All right, let's get a pan. We need to heat on here. We can just do it on one yeah. of these, can't we? That's non-stick pan. Grab one of those. You don't want to stick to on the edges. Bad boys. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Preferably not hit each other in the head with them. And um, how many do you need? 150. So I'll take that away. That's, do you that's going to be 178 that you've got left on there. Oh, look at you. Oh, I'll just stick my knife in there. If it actually is. Oh, oh 172. 172. So now we have 150 grams of butter. Stick Whack it that in the pan. Stick it in the pan. Brown sugar, 120 grams. Oh, yeah. that is a lot of sugar. Five tablespoons of syrup. Gold. Five tablespoons. Uh, five yeah. tab tab tb tbsp tablespoon teaspoon tablespoons. I don't know how many I've done, that's three, isn't it? Five, you only need five of these. I oh, took one more. Yeah. Right, so now guys, what you need to do, you need to heat this all this up until all the sugar has dissolved, I think. Something like that. Let's go. So we're letting that like crystallise down. We need that butter to uh That is what we need going. Double team. This is how professional chefs actually cook. Yeah. They don't tell you, but they just team. You would see like Jamie Oliver and like Heston working together. And yeah, it's a bit like us too. Like, we are, I would say we're at that level now. Definitely. Get, get on the double stirring. Take it off the heat. Remove from the heat and allow it to cool for a few minutes. Right, so now once you've let this cool for two minutes, you can have a mixture looking like this. We put it in a glass bowl just so it's a little bit easier to mix in the sieve exactly. flour and all that stuff. What we need to do now is Beat in the sieved flour, bicarbonate soda, and ginger until a dough forms. So, so you're going to beat this in. So you need 400 grams of plain flour. That's quite. Huh? Well, that's eight grams. Just another 392 to go. You ready? Yeah. That really didn't work. Oh yeah. That's the technique my mum taught me right there. Learning techniques of his mum. Look at this little guy. Just okay, see you, oh, cheers, mate. Oh, thanks. I can there see so much now. You could just look at like that. <coughs> <laughs> so earlier, it's all white Alfie... all in his <laughs> It's always white. He just rubbed that. <laughs> go look in the mirror. Yes, sir. There you go. One. What does bicarbonate soda do? Gives it the magical spirit of Christmas. Shut up. <laughs> Just leave a comment telling us what bicarbonate soda actually does because we don't know. Add some ginger. How much of this was it? Two teaspoons. Two, wasn't it? Yeah. That's where they get the gingerbread from. No. <laughs> I don't really like ginger. There we go. That's, I don't like ginger that much. Video. Sieved flour, bicarb and ginger until a dough forms. I think we can just do it with this and we don't have to use our hands because loads of people say we have to use or do you want to use your hands? I think we should I think you should hand. use your hands. Shall I? Yeah. Just do it. You gotta man up to these things. Oh, it's you got it's so hot. It's not even warm, that is hot. You've got a man up. Feel that? No, you've got a man no, up. No, feel the edge yeah. of the bowl. It's not hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Oh yeah, I'm not joking, that's actually hurting. That genuinely hurts. <laughs> we basically just got this out of the fridge. No, we just got this off of the... Ah! I'm not doing that. Uh, oh, allow it to cool until it's okay to handle. <laughs> Tell me that after I just burnt my hand. But it says that after the beating. Do you think that looks doughy, guys? 
I think that looks quite dark. Looks gingery as well. It smells gingery. Lovely. So what we now do is we have to flower your surface or a surface. Don't know how much flour it is. Not that much, just spread it about a bit, so. A little bit more, a little couple of pinches. You know, just get get the pinches down. And that's about that's looking nice, isn't it? Might draw Dust away so we found roll the dough out. Face in it. Roll the dough out to a thickness of one centimetre. It may feel a little crumbly, but that's what makes it crisp when brittle when baked. Crisp when brittle when baked. That's what what makes it crisp when brittle when baked. Don't know. That's what they say. Do we need to use a rolling pin? Yeah. Why not? Why not? I think you should. Yeah. Leave it there because it's warm. Well, let me just put it out a little bit. Yeah, and then leave it there for like five have a bigger minutes. Set there, so put it down quicker. All right, chemistry. <laughs> Cut out whatever shapes you want and arrange on a non-stick baking tray. Can't let me lost something. What? You know making gingerbread men? Yeah. How do you make the gingerbread men shape? <laughs> so what you have to do is you actually have to like think before you make a video and buy gingerbread men cutouts, I think. <laughs> We've kind of like stars and hearts and snowflake you know. Christmassy. But, yeah, but we didn't get gingerbread men. It's alright, we can just make them. Yeah, of course. I'm so sick at like art and like all of that stuff because that's what I do. It's not, is it? No. Do you do that? No. I can sieve well, but that's about it. <laughs> Why don't we, around the outside, make some stars on that first? Some little hearts and things. That was lame, wasn't it? That was very lame. I'm sorry. Right, let's just cut out some hearts and things like that. Oh, that's cute. I just ruined it. This is a star, because this is the star that Jesus followed. Wait, was it Jesus? <laughs> The three wise men. <laughs> Jesus is a baby. He can't follow stars. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we made gingerbread women. Oh my god, that's never been done in the history. I don't think it ever has. We could even make a gingerbread doll or something. Too far. Alright, sorry. <laughs> People really get to see our arty skills when we do this, don't they? Yeah, it really shows out at the side that nobody ever sees of me. And I mean, this side is so creative and talented. Yeah. Marcus has been really nice and made a disabled Christmas, um, a disabled, what are they call gingerbread man, just to. Okay, he's got a fat arm and he's got half a leg missing. That's all right though. It shows you like, I don't know. Warm hearted. Yeah, that's the one. Do you want to rip it? Sure, you sure to Push it into here. Thank you. Another mother, mother's technique going down. Definitely is. De <laughs> so that is non-stick um, greaseproof paper, something like that. We've stuck it on the tray and we're going to whack down our gingerbread men, snowflakes, hearts, all those little shapes that we've created and get those in the oven. Right, so what you now do is you place them in your oven for 10 minutes on 170 degrees. Preheat the oven. And that's simple. So once 10 minutes has gone, guys, take your gingerbread men and shapes or whatever they are from the oven and place them on the side nicely. Doom. Right, guys, so once your thingy these are out, men are out the, the oven, oven, leave them to cool. I was kind of turned Siamese a little bit there. I mean, your gingerbread man's gonna. Mine actually looks good, except his head's a little bit of a chode. But they turned Siamese, and we need to leave these to cool so we can decorate them in a minute. Right guys, so these are now cooled down and they're kind of Siamese, all of them, but we can break them apart a little bit. Do they smell? They smell gingery. They smell quite good. They do. Let's put it's these layout. out. My gingerbread man. What's Let's separate it from your what have you done? shocking people. Look at mine. Look. That's genuinely Mate, good. Look he's at that. on a snowboard. Look. Arika's decorating kit comes with two times icing tubes and three times sprinkled toppings. Oh, wicked. That's nice, doesn't it? Um, shall I do a little dress or something? Or a skirt? Are you eating them? Oh, mine's got a blue spotty dress on. Look at her. She looks like she's got a disease. <laughs> <laughs> you 
a knife? What is that? Some tie? Yeah. That is shocking. But then spots everywhere. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. He's got to have a pair of trousers made specially for him for his one short leg. Do you reckon? Yeah. Mm. Do you reckon he burnt it in a fire because the edge of it looks like <laughs> burnt? Is that I think, how he, is no, that? His, his missus bit it off when she got annoyed at him. That's a little bit extreme, but okay. Guys, <laughs> we've like made all we can. We've made the most Christmassy things we can possibly from having no Christmassy shapes, hardly. So, we've tried our best. Oh, look, they're together. And they're a little heart in between them. Over that side, because look, his arm is going to reach around her. Yours looks well gingerbread man shapey. I know, that's what I said, mine's so good. Look, they've got a happy sun above them. Here we are. <laughs> so yeah, they weren't too bad overall, but nothing great. Probably because we cut them badly. This video here is a first video of a little series that me and Marcus are doing, which I'm are going to be series. cooking tutorials on how we're going to teach you Really good recipes. So, make sure you leave your favourite recipes and what you want to see us cook in the comment section below. And we'll try our best to do, make as many of those as well as we can, because we're such good cooks. Bakers slash chefs, everything really. Everything, all in one. Yeah. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, because we had a good time making them. It was pretty fun. And we hope you guys enjoyed watching them, so don't forget that. We've also made another video today over on Marcus's channel. If you want to check a little preview there now, you can click that to go to him, where we made a chocolate Yule log. Turned out really well. It looks amazing, as you can see. That's what I'm